Welcome to the episode of Project Miata and today we are gonna finish fully assembling the front which is taking off the uh, rate operator support support which is like quite easy we just need to drill out the places and then we'll be able to print it up which should not take too long also put down the sensor that was a little bit bent we're gonna bend that back into place and put it on that said doesn't matter if it's a little bit bent it doesn't affect its performance at all so we'll just make it look more uh, visually better and just put it back in place we took it off last episode i believe and then we'll just wait for parts to get painted which is the last part after that gets painted the door will get fixed up which is there's a little bit of damage on it and we should be good to go so yeah let's jump in with the time lapse and as you noticed i'm using my canon uh eos rf rf it's called an rf because it's the mazda rf uh r5 and the quality should be much better because I looked at the iPhone quality, it's mm, 4K 60, 4K 30 ProRes, but it's it's not there. This camera is so much better compared to a small little iPhone, so I'm going to go back to using an actual camera instead of just phone because I have it, why not use it when it's such better performance. Let's jump on in. Time lapse a little bit short. I had to go uh, do some things, but now I came back and finished drilling the holes on this side uh, through the top guard and removed this. So now we can fully pull it out, I believe. Let's take a look, and there you go. And see how the clearance is here, how the clearance is on this side because there was a little bit of damage right here but this doesn't really affect anything only thing it can affect is the mount, mounting place of the brake booster so we have to see that and get this sensor maybe straighten out the housing a bit and place it back into place going to replace this part the brake booster but as you can see uh, here's the damage that was happened before this is the new part and there's this valve that goes into this hose but on the old one it just broke off the little piece was inside the hose but I pulled it out and threw it away also this is quite got jumbled up I removed already the horn I believe it's the horn signal put it onto here and then the mounting is with this part so which I thought it's like doesn't affect anything yes it doesn't affect anything but it does affect for mounting this part so we're gonna have to bring a tool over from a shop and uh, beat this back into place so that it's more straight and this mount can get mounted on fully and properly also got this device back on which is the other sensor from this side uh, straightened out the frame and it is fine and perfectly usable now Thank you for checking out this episode. We removed the top radiator support and the car is looking pretty good. We're gonna leave everything in place so we can weld up the old, the new radiator support on top and have all the parts properly aligned. Then we'll be able to remove this and repaint it to have it a nice black color. I'll catch you guys uh, later.